Morning kids, welcome to the 5 minute devotional. I hope you guys are all doing well. Well, today as I'm reading, I'm reading from the book of Proverbs. And actually, the book of Proverbs has a lot of things that it wants to say to us today. Uh, book of Proverbs talk about today's our heart and the condition of our heart. Well, before I talk about the condition of our heart, I want to ask you, how many of you like junk food? I love junk food. But recently, as I was trying to lose weight and be healthier, I can't allow junk food to come into my body. Even though I love it so much, I know it's not good for me. And so I would try to avoid buying junk food in my home. And today, similarly, God is reminding us, what do you allow to go into your body? Do you allow things that come out of your mouth? Are those wholesome talks, good words, or is it curses, perversity, or things that will come out of your mouth that it's not from the Lord. And what do you allow? What are you watching? You know, sometimes we love to be entertained. And YouTube has so many different suggestions. When we click on it, is it good? And you know what? Just like taking in junk food into your body, sometimes the words that come out of our mouth, the things that we see is not really good for you and here in proverbs chapter 4 20 to 27 it reminds us do you give careful thoughts to things that you see and it's a reminder that god is saying let's not veer to the right or to the left but keep your foot from evil do you daily try to keep away from the things you know that God doesn't want you to participate in. Well, today, it's a reminder. Guard your heart. What do you guard your heart? What do you allow the things that come into you? Just like not allowing things to come into your body physically, what are some of the things that you allow in spiritually to change your mindset, to change your thoughts, to change your heart. I want to bless you today to know that God is with you and He wants you to guard your heart from the things that He you know it should not come in. Bless you and I will see you tomorrow.